Hey guys, it's Chris again with God Be Outdoors. Uh, it is October 28th or 29th, um, Friday morning. We're getting a lot of action on the cell cams, so I'm going to go sit the blind this morning. I'm going to try to make it an all-day sit if, I'm, if it's available. I don't have any customers today, so uh, hopefully everything goes as planned. But um, anyways... Uh, Hope you guys get to enjoy this video. Um, we got some action going on the cameras, like I said. Hopefully, we'll get one down. Uh, right now, I've got two bucks that are on both my stand and my blind. And I've got several does on both, uh, mostly on the blind. And today, the wind is perfect, cold snap. Uh, definitely getting temperatures in like the upper 30s, lower 40s. So, hopefully, it gets them on their feet, moving around, and uh, hoping my arrow can find a good path. That's what I'm looking for today. But if, uh, if anything else happens, I'll keep you updated. Until then, we'll see you out there, and I appreciate you coming along. We'll see you soon. Is there any better sight? Hey guys, uh, so we've made it out here to the blind, um, or well, at the area the blind's at. Well, it's actually a very gorgeous day. One vehicle, one vehicle for the entire public area. Uh, usually the parking lot that's full down the street here is completely empty. I'm parking next to one person who's probably doing the same thing here a little early. But uh, so hopefully we're going to have a really good sit. You can see clear skies, farmland, public area. It's a beautiful day. We've got deer on camera already this morning. So um, we're going to get in there and hopefully we're going to get it done. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, uh, I love this. I love this sport. Every time I get out there, every single time, I'm re-excited. Even if I don't do anything all day long, if I don't see anything all day long, I'm just as excited the next time. So parents, this is a great thing to take your kids and do. It's awesome. But I will see you guys here in a little bit. I want to get out there before it gets too late. We'll see you soon. Take it easy. All right, guys, we made it to the blind. Uh, we're getting everything set up. Gorgeous day. Uh, I'm kind of upset because as I walked in, I jumped two really big deer, uh, probably about 30 yards off to the right hand side uh, couldn't tell if they were does or buck they were really good size uh, all I saw was the you know, whites of their tails so but at least we know they're here and uh, everything is set up so hopefully we'll be uh, be good to go I'll keep you updated thanks for coming along kind of quiet had one hunter walk by uh, took him a minute to see me inside the blind so that's a good sign right um, haven't had any movement since this morning like I said when we walked in we jumped two of them just watch them bound off into the woods but I have had some blue jays calling on the side I'm going to try a little uh, grunt call and doe calling, see if that does anything.
see if maybe that helps get them started a little bit. So far it's gorgeous. Only 100 in the wood besides me so far, so keeping our fingers crossed. Very hopeful. And um, the camera, they've been sporadically showing up throughout the day. So we'll keep you guys updated. We'll see you soon. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Now I've got to come this way a little bit more. Now I had a 
freezer full of an ice. They're moving. See you soon. All right, guys. It's uh, <clears throat> I think around one o'clock. Had a pretty good sit. Actually, we've seen three deer this morning. Uh, had that one. I don't. I couldn't tell if it was a spike, a big, like a big spike, or. Uh, just a really big doe standing next to some branches I, I'm almost thinking it might have been a big doe and I thought it was a buck at first but uh, as gray as she was if that had been a buck it probably been a really pretty good rack on him or I don't know deformed one but I'm pretty sure it's a big doe at this point but only 64 yards right over the side and like I said we had two this morning that jumped so, I mean, it's been a good set. Uh, the deer are definitely out moving around. I just got another picture in from my other, uh, my stand location on another public property. Um, looks like a buck coming through the field there. It's hard to tell because it's kind of grainy. Um, still new at this, so the investment in the cameras isn't there yet. Uh, but for public land, I don't really want to invest too much anyways. I'm saying as I had one stolen last year. But, um... No, other than that, it's a beautiful day. Everything's been going pretty good. Uh, hoping we get some more come in this evening. If we do, then uh, hopefully we'll get to let the arrow fly. I have, I got the Matthews ready on standby with the arrow knocked, ready to roll. So uh, we'll keep you updated if anything goes down. Uh, appreciate you guys following me. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, back with an update. Um, I think now it's getting to be around, let's see, 3 o'clock. Uh, haven't had any more movement. This might be the low end of the day, you know, this might be the calm before it kicks back up for the evening. Um, the wind swirled around, but it's maintaining that same northwest wind so everything's still good for us but uh, I figured I'd check back in and let you guys know I'm just sitting here enjoying the beauty and uh, doing some calls and watching the wildlife as it goes by I've seen a couple of different types of birds I've never seen before and uh, I haven't seen anything other than the birds and a couple of squirrels since that last sighting that doe earlier but uh, anyways I'll keep you guys informed and updated and, uh, hopefully we'll pick up a little bit this afternoon and get lucky I'll see you soon
is a movement off the right hand side. <clears throat> Still nothing visual. We've got about uh, two and a half hours left uh, before we have to call it quits. This is, uh, I think, one of the first times I've done an all day set in a long time. So, it's been a good day though. I watched a uh, groundhog chirp and bark a little while ago on the other side of some brush. But other than that, it's been kind of quiet. But uh, we're still hopeful. You know, sometimes they show up at the last light right before night. So we'll keep you posted. See you guys soon. Alright guys, it's uh, almost 5.30, so we got another hour left of legal shooting light. So, um, figured I'd go ahead and catch everybody up on what's going on. There's not much going on at all, actually. It's been very quiet. Um, we had some other wildlife come through. I think I saw a fox. I'm pretty sure it was a fox. Either that or a really awkward looking cat, but I'm pretty sure it was a fox. About 30 yards in the other side. Uh, but no deer movement, not since earlier today. I don't know if they'll come back right before dark or not, but I'm going to sit until it actually gets dark. So if, uh, if I can't catch up before I get back to the vehicle tonight, it'll be because there's no light left. But I will catch everybody up at the back of the vehicle. Unless we get one, uh, unless we get an arrow to fly, hopefully that'll be the case. But you know, it's still a gorgeous day, and uh, had a great sit. It's the first time I've been an all-day sit in a long time, and uh, nice to only see one hunter and three deer instead of the other way around. So, uh, anyways, I want to get back to it and uh, maybe try a few more calls and stuff. Here we are, there. Like I said, the last hour before it's uh, uh, lights out. So we'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, it's uh, it's a little after six o'clock now, and so we've only got about uh, thirty minutes left of legal light. something happens good in the next 30 minutes I guess we're going to call it a day and uh, have to come back another time so uh, I'll get packed up here shortly and uh, start hiking back out uh, I usually hunt my way out the last 30 minutes because I prefer not to try to walk on rough terrain while it's night out time while it's still night out and dark I, I see no need to do it uh, if nothing happens within here to there, then I'm done by the time I get there and I can just jump in the vehicle and get everything put away. But, um, still being quiet, still hopeful. Maybe, you know, this last 30 minutes will be good for us. But I'll catch you back up here in a little while. We'll see you soon. All right there, guys. Uh, made it back to the Jeep. Uh, we did wait all the way till dark. Had some walking right by us about 50 yards 40 50 yards away but it was right at the last light and really couldn't see what was walking so I just decided to pack it in and head on back but it was a good sit for the whole day uh, finally got to see some deer around that blind and uh, if that would have been rifle season I would be going home with a deer so uh, Maybe, uh, maybe we'll hit it again at rifle time. But anyway, um, I appreciate you coming with us. I'm glad you're uh, staying with, you know, watching our channel and everything. And uh, if you guys are ever in the area up here in North Ohio, hit me up. You know, we'll do some hunting together. Until then, uh, get out there, get living, and I'll catch you next time on God Be Outdoors. Thanks.